Today's message is about giving and getting forgiveness. We start with Colossians chapter 3 verses 1 through 18 from the King James Version of the Bible. If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry. For which things sake the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience, in which ye also walked some time when ye lived in them. But now ye also put off all these, anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication, out of your mouth. Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds, and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him, where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcision nor uncircumcision, barbarian, Scythian, bond, nor free, but Christ is all and in all. Put on therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long-suffering, forbearing one another, and forgiving one another, if any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. And above all these things put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another, in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands, as it is fit in the Lord. Here Paul has declared to us some rules for Christian living and forgiveness. He tells us to set your heart and mind on heavenly things. That as a believer, your old self died and now God lives in you. That we are to put to death the fleshly nature of fallen man, sexual impurity, greed, idolatry, and to rid yourself of anger, malice, slander. The Bible says that as God's chosen people we are to put on and clothe ourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. And if that is not enough for us to comprehend, he then goes on to tell us to bear with each other and forgive whatever grievances you may have against one another. Forgive as the Lord forgives you. You may be asking yourself, does Jesus really understand how hard this would be? Yes, he definitely understands. Think about it. He asked God to forgive the people who were driving nails through his hands. He didn't wait until some time in the future, when the wounds were healed or wait until he was in heaven to ask for God to forgive them. He did it while they were literally driving the nails through his hands. I can't imagine the suffering he was going through, but he still loved them and asked the Father for their forgiveness, so yeah, you know how hard it is. I don't keep in my heart, there is no way that I would have had the strength to ask for their forgiveness if they were doing that to me. Not on my own, I would never have that kind of strength, but with God, He will give me the strength to be able to overcome my pain, whether it be physical or emotional, and ask God to forgive people who have done me wrong. All we have to do is ask Him. The scripture said, Set your mind and heart on things above. Put to death those things that displease the Lord. Part of becoming new in Christ is to clothe yourself with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Forgive each other as God has forgiven you. I want you to keep in mind that forgiving someone does not mean reconciliation. If you can reconcile with whoever hurt or offended you, all well and good, but it doesn't mean you have to. If you are in danger of coming to any type of harm, don't put yourself back in harm's way. That is not what the Lord expects us to do. In these types of situations, that may be a friendship or relationship that has to end for your safety, but you can still forgive them and ask the Lord to give you peace of mind over it, since you can't ask the person for forgiveness yourself. If the person you need to forgive has died, you still can find forgiveness for them in your heart. Forgiveness is the process of getting rid of resentment and anger for an offense. However, a lot of the time, we get hurt or angry over a misunderstanding, or we get mad over what we think we heard, or the way we think a person looked at us. If you need to forgive someone, or they need to forgive you, but there are still hurt feelings involved in anger issues. 
Just keep in mind that burying the hatchet only brings peace when it is not buried in somebody's head. You don't want to wait until tempers have calmed before you talk to each other about forgiveness. Regardless of who is or is not at fault, you might want to put yourself in the other person's shoes for just a moment. Have you ever made a mistake? Ever said the wrong thing? Of course you have and so have I. Everyone has. Ever stick your foot in your mouth because of a quick response? Ever have your mouth engaged before your brain engages? We expect others to forgive us when we have committed an offense, but we struggle to forgive others for the same thing. God offers forgiveness to us when we sin against Him, and He expects us to show the same courtesy to others that have wronged us. There is chain-breaking power in forgiveness, and God desires that you be set free from the bondage of unforgiveness. I believe from God's Word that it is motivated by our obedience to God and our command from God to forgive. God wants to forgive us each time we have a repentant heart, and God will forgive, but that ability doesn't come easy for most of us. So, how we forgive others when we struggle with forgiveness? By faith. We forgive by faith and with obedience to God's word and trust and believe that God will complete the work of forgiveness in our hearts. Here are some of my favorite scriptures that I go to when I am struggling with forgiveness issues. They help me and I hope that they will be a help to you as well. Philippians chapter 1 verse 6. And I am certain that God who began the good work within you will continue his work until it is finally finished on the day when Jesus Christ returns. Matthew chapter 6 verses 12 and 13. And forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. Luke chapter 6 verse 37. Do not judge and you will not be judged. Do not condemn and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Remember to subscribe, like, and ring that bell so you will not miss a video. Have a blessed day.